Trail Boss with the Duramax. And yeah, it's got kind of a funky thing on the back there. I don't know about that, but it's okay. That is the key factor. And I haven't had the actual Chevrolet. I've been GMC. I haven't had a Chevrolet since my brand new one in 05, which I've grown up Chevy blood, so loving it. In the new truck, um, I tried to quickly set up my tire pressure uh, sensors this morning uh, without the tool and it didn't work uh, where you deflate for up to 10 seconds or inflate and yeah that uh, wasn't working i like to use the handheld tool the wanda we call it at work um autel you know snap on lots of different brands we have there but um, don't have one at home so got to get my tire sensors uh, registered to the truck and that'll work great check this out i just turned on my blinker bam look at that camera view that's really cool. I just did that automatically as I'm turning. Yeah, you see the mirror? Scott's behind me. That's really cool. Point one so far. You can see I'm 63, 64 miles into my trip so far here. Um, and yeah, I would probably be ding your out of range in the old Lightning. 14.1 <laughs> in the brand new diesel. Um, doing pretty good. Gotta like it. It's a what do you beautiful think? Beautiful color. I like it too, huh? What Love. do you think? Yeah, check it out, folks. The old trail boss. She did good. 14.5 miles to the gallon here. It's got the Duramax in it. And it's been uh, since 2005 since I had a new Chevy. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty truck. GMC. Yeah, pretty thank truck. you. Yeah, I like it so far, folks. We'll get out on the trail as soon as James gets here, right? Uh, quite a crew here today. I think the uh, Polaris, yeah, I'm going to say it again. The Polaris is going to stand alone with uh, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Uh, so we're gonna go find some deep snow. Uh, stick with us. We're gonna get stuck. turbo and no suspension. Limited snowmobile trail, uh, not 
not uh, seasonal to over snow use for wheel travel though, that's nice. So James has a 35 inch Super ATVs. In my opinion, the Super ATVs are the best in the snow. I could definitely air mine down a little bit. Uh, Matt's one of the 32 inch carnivores, brand new with some siping. How's everybody doing? Stay in there, knock it off. Uh, all right, come on out. <sighs> Spill my coffee, get my hat all dirty, get out. Okay, so, do you need to air, you're already aired down. Do you need to air down at all? I think I'm okay. Okay, he doesn't know. Do you need to air down at all? I'm good, thank you. Okay, good. All right, we'll see. Look at this, yeah. Do you need to air down or are you doing good? on the 32 inch super ATVs. I've got about one and a half in the fronts. They are on the factory bead locks. Matt's got uh, about five in his. His are squatting real good. And then, uh, yeah, they seem to be even like flimsier because mine are biased. Uh, Scott hasn't really aired down yet. I imagine he's gonna have a little bit of an issue. He has 35, so he probably doesn't really need to air down, but he said he's aired down pretty good already. What are yours at? About three and a half. Three and a half. Um, yeah, and that was that was at about, about about 35 degrees. Okay, yeah, we're warm right now. We're probably 30. Oh yeah, yeah, baby. All right, so good. All right, well let's uh, get cruising here, folks. We'll see uh, who gets stuck and whatnot. He's out here, uh, not too bad looking there. He's got his reservoirs up here. He's got a filter up here. Lots of storage units. Uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah. Shovels, that's good. A snow shovel and kind of an ice type shovel, that's handy. Um, a lot of times just a regular snow shovel will break on you, so uh, Bob carries that old school style shovel to a spade shovel. Uh, good recovery point. Yep, okay, let's get stuck. <laughs>
as you know, is one of my favorite things to do. Fine hand blues. Uh, breaking trail on fresh snow. I love it. There's all kinds of tracks to explore. Nobody's been in here. I get to use my new chainsaw I picked up on Friday. Oh, I don't know where I'm going here. Oh, wait. Yeah. Whoops. I don't know what that was. Someone just caught my plastic. But now, folks, this is sweet. bite from Woody there. I got a little bloody bite from uh, a bungee that broke. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're going to move on. We'll see how far we can get. I don't know if we can continue this whole loop or not. So if we start getting stuck, it's going to get frisky. He's going off the bridge. Straight down. more than you wanted. Better try a high range, I guess, huh, folks? Let's get some wheel spinning. He made it through. Here comes Scott. We know him from my other shorts. He's gonna get hung up. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> Back her on up, Scott. Hit it again. Got a little creek hole here. Yeah. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. Last one through. New exhaust sounding good. All right. GoPro here. Um, I was having a fun time coming through there. This is Barry's Meadows. It's definitely off camber. Um, I was definitely dragging against the tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's some pieces hanging on there. I don't need that, though. This is kind of getting in the way. Um, let's see what Matt can do. Come right up here. Bring your own in, boy.
Now boost it straight up. He's got this. It's no big deal. Oh. Just a little plastic. Turn your wheels up there and go. Oh, okay. That was good. All the way up and over. Can you come out here, bud? Can you just do a... Come on back, come on back, come on back. Okay, yep, good, nice. Crank it, spin out of there. Little tricks of the trade there, huh? Close to your saw. What? It was so close to your saw right there, <laughs> dude. Uh, How'd you like that maneuver back in? All right, can Matt squeeze the old 72 inch through there? Ooh, little kiss of the tree. Yep, there's the off camber. Whoa, there's more off camber. Oh. oh. Yeah, I just ripped my uh, plastic off of mine. Ouch. Yeah, I just ripped the plastic off of mine. Okay. There goes the $800 hit lights you fixed for me. Yeah. Just crumpled it. Let's see here. I just fixed that light, man. Oh no. Oh, I'll that fix it. Oh no. Uh, it's yep. a pivoter. It's all part of the game. We'll fix it up. Let's subscribe. Um. Okay. Okay. He's a little bit more forward than I was. Yeah, um, what we need to do is crank to the, fire it up, crank it to the right. Um, let's see if we can back up just a little bit. It was hard, um, I couldn't turn my wheel when I was back there. Yeah? Yeah, I could not turn my wheel. Yeah, we'll get <laughs> him out of here. We'll get him out of here, let's see what we can do. You can boost it from there, Matt's coming out, folks. Let's see if we can get up here. here folks put her back up a little bit see if you can dog walk through here oh bam always into that tree I was rubbing hard I ripped some plastic off I would just kept going oh. okay it's not brand new anymore ow we're having fun now we gotta go around for him hit subscribe and like check out my full length videos Whoa! That was sweet. Yeah, Scott, he's fine. Okay, here comes Billy. Oh boy, here comes Billy, folks. Remember the one where he tipped over? We got the Can Am X3. He's dog walking through. You think he's gonna make it? Nope, he's gonna carnage right in on there. Oh no, Mir. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he pulled it right in.
the old can of hand holds up to the hat. Not blue. <laughs> I know the players used to uh, take that abuse. We'll see here. Okay, yeah, that piece is gone now. The rest holds up good. It's really just this hitting on there, huh, Blue? Deposited in a couple trees. Um, yeah, well, it did crack that. Um, this is cold, stuff doesn't flex. So I'll go see if I can find my piece and see if we can get some footage of them. And I, I'm trying to see. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Just go through. Yep. Yep. Good boy, Blue, come on. James is a trooper. <laughs> Thing, blue. Uh, oh, yeah, you good. Mm -hmm. When's the next one? One and James said he's got some queso. Billy said he's got some stucco. Uh, he was pulling up the ass end here, and you know what happens when you lift. Haha, <laughs> no, we'll I'm see. Here comes Scott. Yeah, we're all sliding, but you just got to stay in it yeah, and keep yeah. your momentum, man, because otherwise you just slide worse. Okay, picking on Billy. Cover peanuts. Um, and I thought I better film this. We're in a really side hilly situation here. Um, pretty open down there. No big deal as long as we don't tip. I think we can rip it. How's it looking? Yeah? Okay. I don't know how the others are going to like it. Still intact. Tie rod end would be one concern. Okay, cool. Ooh, yeah. Who's that, Matt? He's not doing good today. He's gonna be pissed. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. He's getting it. He's getting it. Just don't let out. Scott's getting it back there too. So as soon as you let off the throttle, you get sideways. Good thing we don't have any four seaters with us today. They would not fit. No. No. As soon as you let off, you get sideways. Yes. Whack! I hit some stuff hard. I saw a tree just. Oh, move. dude. <laughs> I love it. I know you love it. Yep. <laughs> it's definitely a little technical. Guys, uh, we just got done with lunch here. Uh, it's after two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm about out of uh, disc room. What's up? <laughs> Billy brought us some gourmet dogs. It was really good. So we're going to turn around at this point so we don't have any more carnage. Uh, definitely hit that subscribe and like, and uh, hopefully we'll get out again next weekend.